All right, happy Sunday morning to you. It's February the 18th. Our passage of scriptures today is Numbers chapters 12 and 13. Pray with me, please. God, you are our King, and we thank you for everything that you give us. Lord, I just ask for your blessing today as, as we worship and as we go through this Bible study. Father, we just want to thank you for all that you do for us in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, so leaving off yesterday, I forgot to uh, give these notes that concluded chapter 11. Uh, so I'm going to start with those. As God put the Spirit on the leaders, they prophesied, but they never did so again. That was the 70 folks that Moses brought before the Lord. The Lord sent a wind that blew quail in from the sea. Everyone gathered an abundance of meat. While the meat was still between their teeth, before it was chewed, the Lord's anger burned against the people and the Lord struck them with a very severe plague. They named the place Graves of Craving, Kibroth Hata'ava. All right, so now we move into chapter 12. The rebellion of Aaron and Miriam. They began to criticize Moses. Now, hang on. The people have been criticizing all this time and uh, rebelling against the Lord. Now it has leaked over into the leadership. Those just under Moses, Aaron and Miriam, began to criticize Moses because of his wife Zipporah, who was a Cushite. They were challenging Moses' God-given authority and call. Jealousy reared its ugly head. Why did, they, why did it make any difference if Moses' wife was a Cushite? It didn't, but that was just the excuse that was used to achieve their goal. Most often, when an issue arises, the bottom line is jealousy and the use of authority or power. God spoke up on behalf of Moses, calling he, Aaron, and Miriam out to the tent of meeting. The Lord descended in a pillar of cloud and summoned Aaron and Miriam closer. God spoke to them from the cloud and severely rebuked them. As the Lord left them, Miriam's skin suddenly became diseased or leprous. This could have been an indicator of who was the driving force behind the rebellion. Aaron cried out to Moses and Moses cried out to the Lord for her to be healed of the leprosy. God healed her, but he had to, she had to remain outside of the camp for seven days. Chapter 13. Moses, uh, the Lord directs Moses to send spies or scouts into the land of Canaan to scout out the land. Joshua, who is Hoshea, son of Nun, and Caleb were among the twelve chosen. They returned after forty days with some fruit of the land. As they give their report of the good, goodness of the land, they also talked about the strength and size of the inhabitants of the land. Caleb stood up and quieted the people and said, Let's go up now and take possession of the land because we can certainly conquer it. But the other ten scouts gave a bad or a negative report, saying, We can't. They were right. They couldn't without God. But God had delivered them from Egypt in order to bring them to Canaan and give it to them. Only Caleb and Joshua trusted God to do what he said he would do. All right, so let me get out our thought for today. Uh, it says, covetous people never get enough money. Proud people never get enough praise. And self-centered people never, never get enough attention. attention. Christ is portrayed by Moses, who was very meek, very humble, above, above all the men which were upon the face of the earth, it said of Moses. Jesus says, I am meek, gentle and mild, and lowly in heart. That's Matthew chapter 11, verse 29. God bless you and have a great day.